Now, full disclaimer, this involves uh, Chris and Andrew Cuomo, the brothers. And uh, apparently, th this happened yesterday. This morning, it's been in the news that apparently Chris Cuomo uh, has tested positive for the coronavirus. I'm not a big fan of Chris Cuomo. You guys all know that. Uh, I'd imagine a lot of you are not fans of Chris Cuomo either, but I certainly do not wish ill will on anybody. So I hope that Chris makes a speedy recovery. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, just throwing that out there. Don't wish ill on anyone. I hope Chris makes a speedy recovery. Uh, out of respect, I'm not going to call him Fredo today when we do this. I originally was, but I'm not going to now. But, but guys, we got to watch this. All right. So here's, by the way, before we watch this, here's my theory. I don't, I, I can't prove this theory, but these are two brothers having a brotherly conversation uh, on the news over at the CNNs. And uh, I feel like one of them stole a girlfriend from the other at some point in time, just to guess. Now, I don't know if there's any fruit to this theory. I don't even know how different they are in age. I mean, they might be like, I don't know. I mean, I, Andrew's the older one. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, they might be like a lot of years apart where it's like, ah, Ron, that probably never would have happened. Or maybe it happened when they were both adults. I don't know. But I'm just throwing it out there. Or maybe it did happen. Maybe it happened when they were both in high school because maybe they're that close in age. I could find this out easily via Google. But um, the problem is, as far as how far apart are the Cuomo brothers in age, I have spent my entire lifetime not caring about that information. And uh, that hasn't changed. But check this out. Are you thinking about running for president? Tell the audience. No, no. No, you won't answer? No, I have it. The answer is no. My no, answer is not thinking about it? Just one word. I said no. Have no. you thought about it? No. Are you open to thinking about it? No. Might you think about it at some point? No. How can you know what you might think about at some point right now? Because I know what I might think about and what I won't think about. But you're a great interviewer, by the way. <laughs> Jeez. Now, obviously, this interview happened before. Uh, I mean, that'd be that'd be some tough brotherly love. If you know your brother tested positive for Corona and you, and you had that dig at the end, you're a great interviewer, by the way. Um, are you thinking about it? No. Are you, are you, are you, are you going to think about it at some point? No. Are you, are you might, how do you know what you might think about in the future? No. Do you still think about Diane? Do you still think about her? Do you remember? I saw her first. Why'd you do that? Why are you still, Diane was so long ago. Come on, get over it. I got you this nice job at CNN. You got to let that go. Are you going to run for president? Are you going to run for president? Are you going to date Diane again? Are you thinking about her? Do you think you might think about her again someday? Maybe I still think about her. Maybe I still think about her. So there's that. Anyway, yeah, that happened. That's good. <laughs> now, of course, uh, Andrew Cuomo is the guy who uh, has actually cut Medicaid in New York, has asked for a lot of things too little too late in New York as a, uh, a cesspool for the coronavirus but um, everybody's celebrating him now because we live in the United States of amnesia. And, um, you know, whoever talks nice in front of a TV, uh, some willing sheep are like, that guy, he sounds like a leader. Andrew Cuomo's not, by the way. You know how now people are saying, oh, we're going to replace uh, Joe Biden with Andrew Cuomo. Some people are saying that. Some people being like the Democratic establishment and their lackeys. Oh, let's have uh, Bill Maher said something like, oh, it's just like baseball. Let's have Andrew Cuomo getting there for Joe Biden. Uh, you know how sometimes really shady companies, uh, they'll replace one corporate mouthpiece with another corporate mouthpiece in an attempt to convince you that something has changed and nothing's changed. They're just as corrupt. Anyway, keep that in mind when you hear the Democratic establishment going, oh, yeah, we're going to, yeah, Andrew Cuomo might be the guy. Since Joe Biden's declining, which he is, but Joe Biden's declining, we might have Andrew Cuomo now. That guy that, uh, you know, screwed over homeless people, cut Medicaid, didn't do near enough, but he sounds nice in front of a camera. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. Would you think about it? Did you think about it at any point? What if you think, what if you were asked to think about it by a sibling, 
what would you do then? Just hypothetical. Hypothetical. All right. Wanted to share that. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and... 